By default, Java uses scientific notation to display large numbers. Let's say we have a very large number. Um, we'll start with something like 300 million, stored in a double, so that would be 3 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 zeros behind it. If we were to display this, Java will normally use something called scientific notation. And we'll run it, and it's telling us the value of large number. And this is simply how you would say 3 million using notation. And it means that, you know, exponentially you're moving uh, to the right 8 places. So yes, there's a 3, but then you would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 for your 300 million. So say we wanted to take that 300 million and add a few more zeros and we'll make 300 billion. Now if I do this, um, I'm going to have to use D, postfix this value with a D, and that's just, you know, I'm using a double and 8 byte double here. And again, I'm just going to rebuild it and run it. And here's the notation value, notice here. And again, it's simply saying, you know, there's an exponential uh, movement here. Um, you know, decimal is a base 10 number system, so every single column is in terms of powers of 10. And it's just saying move to the right 11. So if you count the zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And that's how Java would display large numbers using scientific notation. You can change Java's default method of displaying values and their precision. Unlike the print function, the function printf allows formatting and changing the precision of displayed values. You can deviate from the default amount of precision displayed for integers, floats, and doubles in Java by using the command printf instead of print. Printf in Java is very similar to printf in C, if you've used printf and scanf before. Um, Let's take a look at different ways of displaying values. Here we have four numbers. Uh, a 4 byte integer, set as 12. A float, as 345.12. We have uh, a medium sized number, stored in a double, 300 million. And then we have 300 billion. So if we were to display these, you know, here we're going to use just the simple print, or the Java print line function and it'll show their default values and how they would be displayed as. Um, now, next, we're going to use printf. And if it's an integer, you would simply format it with percent %d and then pass in the variable here as an argument, just as you would in C. And if it's a double or a float, you're going to use percent %f and pass in the variable. Then down here, we're going to modify it to two decimal places. Now, by default, um, you would get six decimal places to the right of the number if you simply use percent %f. But you can modify that and change it. So here we could shave it down to just two decimal places. Here we could you know, display them with no decimal places. So let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. And we'll go to the top, and if you look, this is how things would be displayed with simply the system out print function. So the integer is a whole number, just as it is. The float, just as it is. A larger number, in this case, um, the 300 million, is displayed with notation. So the decimal would be moved eight places to the right. And then the very large number, 300 billion, would also be displayed with notation. So the decimal would be moved 11 places to the right. In the next example, we use printf. And these are the default values, so d, f, f, and f, respectively. And by default, they're going to display six uh, decimal places to the right of the number. So with no modifications, this is what they would look like. But rather than notation, you can see it does display the full number, 300 million, 300 billion. In the next example, we decide to shave off two of those decimal places. And so now we're only going to go two decimal places to the right. And then finally in this example, this is where we decided to have no decimal places. And so we've completely gotten rid of everything to the right of the decimal position. Several different ways of, of doing things, but again, this is what it would be like with print, and it would use notation. This is what it would be like with printf, and by default there would be six decimal places. This 
is what it would look like if we wanted to limit it to only two decimal places, just using the point two. And then the, this one is what it would look like if we wanted to, you know, take away all of the decimal places and only have numbers to the left of the decimal. So point zero F. And the percent symbol there, it, you know, always declares those to be the format specifier. Not a personal matter, Mr. Harley. It concerns all the people on your planet. 